funny when you eat. <laughs> mm. Mm. Welcome, Welcome to Cindy's Chronicle. since Sam is doing the cooking again today. Mm -hmm. And for you, everybody who does not know who Sam is, Sam is my daughter-in-law of four years. Crazy. She's basically my daughter because she's been in the family. We love her dearly. Mom. Yes. And um, show us what you have here, wait, Sam. Wait, forgot. Oh, wait. So make sure, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that bell, you subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. We're trying to... We're running up to 100k. How could you forget that? <laughs> I thought I said it already. Maybe. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so maybe I'm on something. <laughs> um. So we got some white onions, some green onions, and green bell peppers. So that's about like a third of a white onion, a good amount of green onions, and yeah, bell like, peppers. Mm -hmm. And that's like a um, not even a half, less than yeah. a half of. But uh, it's bell really peppers. You this is cream cheese right here. I'm not a cream cheese person, but hey, it's probably gonna taste good. Yeah, and we're gonna mix it in so you can't even taste These it. These are our crawfish tail. Make sure it's Louisiana fresh. Yeah, we got heavy whipping cream. Mm -hmm. Um, we do have this. She did not tell me to take out this ingredient, oh, good. but I just couldn't help it because I love cayenne pepper. I'm a Louisiana girl. I'm gonna have a little butter right there, and we have some mozzarella cheese, and of course we got this big old hunk of a French bread. Y'all see this? This is all we need. This is all we need for this simple recipe. Okay. All right, Sam, you ready? So before we do anything, we have to preheat the oven for 300. Gotta get that going. Then we are gonna cut the stove on to Medium low, medium low. Okay. I'm gonna get some butter. All we're gonna do is just soften the uh, the seasonings right now. So, how was your day? My day was amazing! I can't wait to eat this again. It was so good. So, while we let the butter melt, I'm gonna just go ahead and season these crawfish tails just a little bit because we're gonna put it in some more sauce. But I just want the tails itself to have some seasoning. So I'm only going to put cayenne and some creole. If I can get this open. That's my favorite cayenne. It adds a little... You, got me, you really got me using it a lot. I used to <laughs> use it a, a decent amount, but now I put it in every meal. Now the butter is nice and melted. The pan is nice and hot. We're going to put all the onions in there. And in this house, Cindy loves green onions. So I love green onions. I'm going to put a lot and I'm going to say just she's a little a, bit. Okay. Because I know she's going to want green onions at the top with red pepper at the top. She's a super freak. She's super freaky. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're just going to wait until these get soft. But in the meantime. In between time. We're gonna cut open this French bread. She got a knife. Never trust a big button smile. That girl is poison. So we just gonna put We gotta buy some knives from lovely Mimi. You was talking about uh you wanted some pots from her too. No, knives. Just get everything. Yeah, <laughs> she only sell knives. 
<laughs> so we cut, cutting this in half, but me, I personally like cutting it into small pieces because whenever you're trying to eat it, I don't know, it's just easier to eat this way if it's already in small pieces. Okay, girl. Okay, girl. Y'all see? We ready to get skinny? <laughs> you took your seat today? I did not. I do while this bread's cooking. <laughs> I know. I'm about to take mine now. Okay. Let's see how she cut this bread up. In the mm. pieces. Yes, honey. Are you going to cut all of them? Um, I was going to see how much sauce it makes. Okay. So I was just going to be patient, but we always, we just going to put a little bit of butter on it so the bread's not dry. Okay, so these are the bell peppers, green onions, and onions. Getting all nice and brown and stuff. I'm going to help Sam out. Thank you so much. She's over here buttering the bread. Butter. So Sam, good. what you got to tell everybody today? Ooh. A message, a positive message. Ooh. I don't know why I'm so unprepared all the time. I know you're going to do this. Um, mm -hmm. You know what? Before I came here, I had a talk with my sister. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, she's single. And she's pretty content with her life. But each time we were with each other, all her clients kept calling her and calling her and calling her. Including me, because I'm a client. <laughs> on her face um because you know at this time everybody's trying to get um a loan their unemployment and who they call my sister she's an accountant they have all her information so um she just looks so stressed out and i said sister are you really putting any time for yourself like you're so stressed out you make plans on you want to do yoga you want to work out but your life revolves around clients which is other people except for you so how are you planning on accomplishing the things that make you happy or your goals if you're not making time for yourself? And I guess this was kind of overlooked because everybody thinks this quarantine thing, um, we are taking time for ourselves, but not everybody has that privilege. Right. So I just want to say for those of you out there, especially whenever we get back working again, make sure you're making time for yourself. Because what? if you don't have time for yourself, how can you be happy? If you don't have time for yourself, how in the hell are you going to make time for somebody else? Okay. Period. Poo. <laughs> Get your life. Come see these seasonings. So it's almost, it's almost soft. It's just halfway yes. there. Yes. So we're going to go ahead and put the crawfish Did you, in. You didn't have to put a little olive oil or nothing in it? No? Okay, girl. Look at that. But I will put a little more butter. Because like I said, butter makes the world go around. Yes. It's smelling a little fishy in here, you know. So right now we got a little butter. We got crawfish tails. We got green onions, bell peppers, and regular onions. So right now I'm going to reduce the fire to low or simmer. Because really these crawfish tails, they're already cooked. They just need to be heated up. Mm -hmm. And you don't want overcooked crawfish because that's going to taste like rubber. So we, really we don't eat gonna, rubber. Mm -mm. We just going to let these heat up. Maybe Sam do, but I don't. <laughs> In between time. We're going to take some of this cream cheese that you were kind of skeptical about. And trust me, I don't like the taste of cream cheese. Do your there. thing, girl. Do your thing. So I would say this like, you'll see how much this is. Like, She's adding cream cheese, guys. Cream. That was like a half of a, a small thing of cream cheese. And so she's only like using a fourth of a stick. Okay. I would say so. And then I'm putting some heavy whipping cream. And what this is going to do is it's going to make the sauce. It's going to give it a little body. Okay, girl. Mm. Have you tried my crawfish bread before? Never in my life. Well, I'm going to add a little more seasoning. Now that I got the bell peppers and all that stuff. She's adding more seasoning, guys. A little more. A little more red pepper. Look at her. Pouring a hole. <laughs> of course, the onion and garlic powder. Don't make it too seasoned, you know. I'll be having a little swell up. Okay, swell up. up a little bit of this. And Guys. I like my stuff salty. Guys. 
I got a little treat for you. Bam! What's up? <laughs> As Anthony, say hey to Cindy's Chronicles. What's up, Cindy's Chronicles? Y'all, that is my son. He is so handsome. Ladies, he's taken, but you know what? He's <laughs> handsome. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> so. So after I mix this, we gonna make this concoction all together. Okay, girl. All you gotta do, so the cream cheese is still a little hard. Um, the softer the cream cheese, the better, but that's on me because I definitely didn't soften the cream cheese like I was supposed to. And you just keep mixing it until it becomes a sauce. So you can add more heavy whipping cream, which is I'm most likely going to do because there is no sauce to this. And just add more heavy whipping cream or cheese till it becomes like a nice pretty uh, pink color. Okay, girl. Okay, I'm trusting you. It don't look too hot right now, but let's see how <laughs> it's going to come out. So right now she have heavy whipping cream. She have cream cheese. Mm -hmm. She has green onions, bell peppers, onions, and crawfish tails. Mm -hmm. And she's just, you know, squishing it on down. Okay, girl. <laughs> What's your message to Cindy's Chronicles? My message to Cindy's Chronicles is, look. A glass of wine and be fine. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Because I'm about to give me a glass of wine. Cooking with Cindy's, guys. Cooking with Sam Sam. Who wants Sam Sam to start her own channel? Y'all drop a comment below and let me know what y'all think. I've been trying to get her to start one and she acting all stanky yes. dang dang. <laughs> I could do uh, broke college kids meals. Yes. Tell me. Not that she's a broke college kid because uh, this helper is about to graduate in engineering. She'll be making bank. Oh, yeah. So any wise words for the college students since you know you yeah. all grown up and stuff now? Man. What can I say? Get to know a lot of people in your classes. Those are the people that are going to be helping you. And they can help you in your future. And always be smart because not everybody has your best interest at heart. Oh, crap. Don't trust them hoes. Mm -mm. Okay, so what we got going on here? So I'm still, I have a little more cream cheese because it's not as thick as I want it to be. So, but the color is looking pretty. That's the color I want. And after I get the cream cheese in here. I'm going to add a little mozzarella cheese to make it stick even more, and we're going to taste it. And That's it? Adjust. So this is literally a 10-minute meal. It's so easy, and it tastes so good. It's a cute little appetizer. If you have, you know, your little friends over, you okay. want to impress. Okay. All right, guys, y'all stay tuned for this finished product. Mm -hmm. Guys, so this is all melted. The cream cheese is melted. The heavy whipping cream is melted. So I'm going to add just a little mozzarella cheese. Mm -hmm. Not a lot. I literally, you saw how much, how long I sprinkled it. I just want it to come together even more. And you just keep on mixing. Can you give me a wine glass, child? While you over there mixing it up, mm -hmm. I'll be over here pouring it up. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly what you're saying. You can say whatever you want to say to Cindy's front of us. You're on the camera. I'm on the camera. Honestly, y'all stay tuned. Cause I'm gonna keep mixing it for a long time and y'all gonna see how it turns out. Okay guys. Don't look like I got by focus. Sam is asking me to taste it. To taste, and y'all see what I'm over here doing. I'm trying to get some wine. So got me a clean spoon. See, I I like a lot of seasonings. 
I don't care about salt at all, but I may have added a little bit too much for you. No, it's good. It's, it's like just right. Good. It just needs to, um, the I think what it needs to do, together? yes, I think instead of us just going straight into the bread, mm -mm. that we should let it sit right here for about 15 minutes and marinate. Really? That was going to be the next step. <laughs> To the uh, because yes, I could taste the good really season in the sauce, but I don't taste it in the crawfish tails, mm. so it just needs to sit and soak into the crawfish tails. Y'all want to see it? And this is exactly what you want, but like I said, y'all, it's up to you. Add as much cream cheese as you want, whipping cream, but that's the base of it all. And I add cheese to thicken it up. Some people add flour. Did you put mayonnaise in it? I put a little dash of a mayonnaise. I only said that because I saw it over a little dash of mayonnaise little to make it thick, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But did you taste the cream cheese? Did you taste mayo? Uh-uh. It just tastes cheesy. Mm -hmm. It tastes like cheesy, spicy crawfish tails. And that's what everybody would want in crawfish bread. Yes, so honey. And those green have... onions are giving me life, honey. Yes, but wait till we top it off with green onions. Oh! You're going to be really working something there. Okay. So I'm gonna let it simmer and you're gonna pop it with your bottle of wine. I am gonna take my little tea. Oh crap. Cool. It's gonna be a party. Y'all stay tuned. And if y'all want some of that tea, make sure y'all click the click the link in the description below. Oh crap. Cool. Yes, honey. <laughs> oh wait, Larry. I have one stipulation. Come here. Just one and one only. You have to say hi to Cindy's Chronicles. What the business is, who the witness is, who the snitch is. This is literally my twin. Let him where the ditches is. Leave a nigga missing. Oh, Larry, come show Cindy's Chronicles your tattoo. That's it. They came to Harley. Look. That's Janae. And that's me. And that's Anthony. And that's Kaz and Neek going right here. Oh, crap. Well, he got the whole family. We his arm. <laughs> he said he wear his heart on his sleeve. That's what he said. Let's drink to that, guys. Mm. Um, Sam I'm going to go let Larry out. So I'm just in here, you know, enjoying the kitchen while she's gone. Um, drinking my wine, and yeah. Enjoying life. Who else dance in their kitchen when they cooking? she's quarantining too and come back he goes see her for like an hour a day i approve he pull up they sit in the car they hug kiss i don't know what else they do in the car <laughs> I, hope <it's> <laughs> I hope it's nothing else but either way they both grown ain't none of my business okay so anyway let's get to this um crawfish okay so it's been 15 minutes and so the season is soaked in and remember we preheat the oven for 300 and all I did was cut this in half and cut it in even smaller slices I lied it's not in half um put some butter on it before I put this goodness 
Oh my goodness, it looks so good. And y'all don't be stingy. Just go ahead and pour it all. Close them together so it won't. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm not even really hungry, guys, because I just drunk my tea. But you know, I'm gonna try to fit this in my belly. Wine, tea, and crawfish bread. Who knew? <laughs> And this was so easy. Like all you had to do is basically warm up all the ingredients. Literally like a 10 minute meal. And if you are having company over and you just want to make your company a delicious snack with some margaritas. <laughs> this looks good to you. Let's see. Amazing. Amazing. So, and we even got some left. Yes. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of mozzarella cheese. You can really use whatever cheese you want. I just like how kind of gooey this is. Not gooey, but it, it just like when you pull it apart, it's just so good. So good. So I just put a little bit. Yes, I like cheese, so I'm a cheesy wheezy person. It so makes me feel like I'm eating cheese bread. Do you want to put more cheese on it? I usually put a lot of cheese, but you know, you could put a little bit extra cheese for me. I um oh green onions, yes, honey. Grab a little bit more. No, this is gonna be great. It looks good? It looks delicious. Okay, so we're about to put it in the oven and you're only gonna put it in there for about 12 minutes. I said about, it's so specific, but 12 minutes. And we'll check in then. Okay. <laughs> so y'all, it has been 12 minutes and Let's see what it looks like. Where my wine at? Y'all, oh my god, come see this. I can't even take it out of the oven yet. You gotta have to see this. Mm. Y'all, this, this right here. Oh, I'm like, wait, wait, wait. I'm stupid and grab it with my other hand. It's a top. Hold on, let me. Let's, let's take it. Let's show them. Y'all, this right here. This right here. Hold on. Oh, don't touch it. Oh, okay. okay. Wait, let's put this in the middle. So look how cute. Yes, look at that. Come stand right here, Sam. Let's do a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all look how good. It has like a nice golden top. You can tell the bread is crispy. Oh, but unfortunately, even though it looks this good, you gotta let it sit. That was it. Because with stuff like this saucy, it's just going to fall apart. Oh. You, know, you still want the little body so you can have like a bunch of, a bunch of the good stuff on your bread. Let me show you guys. Sam, you did your thing, girl. Thank you, thank you. you literally, it this. took, um, what, how many minutes you think this took? Man, it took 10 minutes to make, 10 minutes to cook, and let's say 10 minutes to sit. It's a 30 minute meal. Know what time it is? I'm gonna sell Okay, guys. <laughs> you know what time it is. It's tasting time. Uh, uh, okay, Ooh, let me wash my hands. Hold on, I'm ready. I'm ready like Freddy. Mm -mm. And Betty. Boom. Betty, boo hoo hoo. I got this some wine, too. Oh, perfect. And she is definitely in her 20s. 20 She's on boom. Yes, she's 22, so she's old enough to drink a glass of wine, indulge in a glass of wine. I'm gonna get you a plate, because it's only gonna get messy from here. Mmm. What you think? It's there, it's good. It's so delicious, y'all. Mmm. Oh, I love the cheese. Love it. Love to see it. Mmm. 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 Did the seasonings really like soak in? Mmm. 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 Mm. And you could taste like the seasoning of the crawfish tails. Mmm. -hmm. I gotta go get Janae a piece of this. Y'all, this is so delicious. Mmm. 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 
This is a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Mm, 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 mm. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Mm, 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 mm. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> this is delicious. Aww, that's Jen, you did great. A man loves a girl that can cook, but a girl also loves a man who can build a house. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Don't come asking me. Do I know how to cook? Nigga, can you build a house? <laughs> you gotta provide. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, you make me really wanna eat this. It's so good. Mm. Yeah, I'm a little more sensitive. I gotta wait till my food cool down a lot. You just went straight in. Oh girl. I love my food hot. You know that. Yeah. It got just the right amount of spice to it too. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I'm not even hungry. That's the crazy think, part. This is how y'all's plate should look. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. That was delicious, guys. Let me get a napkin. Mm. I really love this wine. You do? Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. I can take a bottle home. You're so sweet. Mm -hmm. I love red wine. It's like my favorite. So I give me a red wine deal. <laughs> How much do I drink red wine? Almost every day. <laughs> hey, I'm not having a holiday. Almost. Almost. Okay, we'll say every other day. And I'll have like one go ass. Yeah, it's not a lot. I don't drink the whole bottle. Unless my sister is over. My sister is over, I drink the whole bottle. Okay, guys. So, that was good. <laughs> that was, you know what? You got to drink some. I am. We can't. Okay, so we had a little bit left over because I didn't know how much like bread to sauce ratio I had. Um, but what you do is just save the sauce because if you want some tomorrow or the next day, you don't want your bread to be really soggy. But we could go ahead and make the rest if you want. Come back, kids. Oh gosh, I didn't even say my blessings. Oh, that's not even like me. It's not. Father God, we thank you for this food. We thank you for blessing it. We thank you for blessing the hands that prepared it. God, we give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's so mm. funny when you eat. <laughs> mm. Mm, mm, mm. I got you, I got you. This should have been a mukbang. I know. Mm. Mm. We keep I love my daughter-in-law. Look at that, look at that. And I'm not going to lie to you, the first time I made this, this is the second time I made it. But the first time I made it, I was a little extra and I put some shrimp in it. Mm. So all you got to do is make it the exact same way that we showed y'all. Um, right whenever I see from the crawfish tails in that bowl, that's whenever you put the shrimp in there, season it the same way, throw it in, and it's just as amazing. It's up to you, boo. Anything else you want to say to Cindy's mm -hmm. chronic calls? Mmm. Okay. One more. Mm. <laughs> mm. Okay. Mmm. 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 All right, guys. You want some more wine? Mm, just a little bit, yeah. Okay. Y'all, that was seriously delicious. Thank y'all so much. Let me rinse my mouth out. Thank y'all so much for tuning into this video. Drop y'all comments below. Mm -hmm. We are not professional cooks. We just do what we do. We're from Louisiana. You know, we throw up. A little bit in, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, and <laughs> yeah, we just do what we do. And we make it work. However, this uh, crawfish bread was absolutely delicious. I loved it. Y'all excuse my nails. I'm quarantining. No nails, no eyelashes, no hair. It is what it is. You Natural know? beauties. Natural beauties right now. That's all we can do. What you see is what you get. <laughs> so y'all do me a favor and have an amazing day. Wow.